Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In a previous tip, I showed you a resource where you can get free music that you can use on your videos, multimedia projects, and things that you put up on YouTube. And in this video, I'm going to show you another resource and I'm also going to show you why it's important to know about these resources so that you can quickly put a video production together. Now the one we're going to look at today is called Audio Naughty and that's A-U-O-N-A-U-T-I-X dot com. And the front page looks like what you see on the screen here. When you get there, you go through and you find the genre of music that you want. For example, if you want acoustic, and then you come over and choose the mood. And then once you do that, you click Find Music, and it brings up a page of music. And you can listen to any track just by clicking Listen Now. And if you like it, you download it. Now, to download it on Windows computers, you want to right-click and save link as and that'll save the mp3 file if you just click download now it'll actually just play it on your computer so you download the ones that you want then you use those in your production and you can click the FAQ here frequently asked questions and it tells you what the restrictions are on the music and so the only restrictions are you may not resell the music and you cannot claim the music as your own now in most cases you do want to provide a credit back to this site so that the author of the music is acknowledged now once you've downloaded the music, next thing you want to do is open your video editing program. In this case, I'm using Cyberlink PowerDirector 16. And the way this works is you click File, and then you import all the media you want. We're going to select some media files, and then click Open. And once I have those, I'm going to hold down the Control key and press A, which selects them all, and drag them down here on my timeline. Now that they're on my timeline, I'm going to click Slideshow. And on slideshow, I'm going to tell it what kind of slideshow I want. See, I've got lots of different types of slideshows that I can make. But I just want to make a motion slideshow. And then I choose the background music. I've already downloaded some of those acoustic songs from Audio Nautix, so I'm going to just select that first one there. And then under slideshow preferences, I want to fit the photos to the music, which means I want the photos to be on the screen as long as the music is playing. I want the sequence to be in the timeline order if there's faces in there to detect faces. Now click OK, and then click Next. It creates the slideshow for me, and then here I can click Preview. So you can see in that production how important it is to have the right music for the video. This whole process from the time that I opened the software until I had a finished video production is less than a minute. That's because I had the music already on my computer and I had the photos on my computer. So the point is, even if you don't think you need music today, it's a good idea to visit the music sites, listen to some of the tracks, and download the ones that you think might work in future productions. Now when I download them, I create a folder for each one. So I have a folder that says music audio nautics so that I know where it came from. That way I can provide appropriate credit to the author of that music. So on my computer I have several folders that start with the word music, and then it lists the person or the site that I got the music from. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in seeing how easy it is to use music to quickly create video productions. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.vmyers.com.